MLCI Slam Show. I'm Mia, and today is Thursday, October 6th, and this is episode 26. In the Slam Show, we learn from students just like you from all over Maine. We'll begin by following along with Cole Boober from Nokomis, who will teach us about the Slam Bot, create, which is creating images with code and watch them be drawn live on a show by a robot. Then, viewers can take the Slam exam, a chance to win prizes by answering questions about the show. Then, we'll wrap up the show with the Slam demo. Um, and etch a sketch, uh, which is creating um, repeated designs and patterns for backgrounds. Now, please mute your mic, and if you have any questions, enter them in the chat so Kyle, our moderator, can respond during the show. And remember, your account is connected to everything you type, so be kind and have fun. Welcome, Cole. We're so glad you could join us. What do you have to share with us today? All right. Thank you, Mia. So today, we're going to be uh, coding the Slam robot. Let me just share my screen real quick. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is navigate to uh, code.irobot.com, which should be put in the chat. Um, and here we're going to want to select the, the plus arrow over here on the left to create a new project. Um, once we're in here, we're gonna, there's three levels, one, two, and three for this uh, uh, project here. We're going to be using uh, number two. So uh, when program is started is the first... Uh, first thing you're going to want to place here. So uh, one, two, and three, level one, two, and three, you're going to want to select when program started. From here, you can uh, really just play around with it. There's a lot of different codes like uh, turn right. So when I start the thing, it's going to go and just make a 90 degree turn. I can add uh, move 90 centimeters. I can switch these around. So when I hit start, it moves 16 centimeters and then makes a 90 degree right turn. So you can really just play around with a lot. There's a more, um, there's a down here at the bottom, there's commands, uh, setters, there's flow control, math. So you can make it like uh, draw circles, like 360 degrees and all that. Um, there's setters, events. So like when on, on our slam robot, which is back here behind us, um, there's buttons on the slam robot. And when you hit those, you can make it um, do different type of things. So when the when the buttons hit, you can make it move another 16 centimeters. So um, think think of this as like an X and Y grid. So on our um, whiteboard back here, which is where the robot attaches to, you have our you have your Y and your X grid, which is where your uh, robot will move across. So once you've played around with this a bunch, um, you can actually submit it to code our slam robot. And what you want to do is go to um, bit.ly slash slam robot, which is cap sensitive. And, and this, this will be put in the chat as well. So to share this, um, once you're done with your project, I'll just make a quick one real quick. Uh, I'll just use our old project here. Save. All right, so on new, on your new project, um, you can name it as well. You're going to want to hit the three dots, and then you want to hit upload. Um, when is your birthday? If you're under 13 years old, you aren't going to be able to do this. Um, so just get a teacher or a parent or guardian. Um, I'll put in my birthday, January 28, 2005. All right, continue. And it's going to give you a five-letter code. And you wanna, you're going to want to write this down. So mine is R4WAE. And once you are you're going to come over to the slam.code thing, and you're going to put in your email. So I'll put in my email. All right, my email is in there. Choose the first letter of your first name, C, last name, B. And then you're going to want to put in your five-letter code here. And mine was R4WAE. E, and you're going to want to hit submit after and this will share your code so now i'm going to show you uh our uh what our robot can do so first i need to turn it on 
All right, and I'm going to come up here. So if you want to pay our robot, you come up here to the very top and hit the robot. And ours is right here, slam bot. And I'm going to pair it. All right, so now the robot is paired. Let me just make sure the camera angle is right. All right, and I'm going to run the code. All right, and this whiteboard isn't exactly ideal for this. Um, it does a lot of slipping, so this may not be perfect. But on a like an industrial whiteboard that you have in a classroom, these work really well. So as you can see, it is doing a little slipping. I believe this code just writes a M and then draws a circle around it. As it finishes up the circle, it may not be perfect. Yeah, it's more like a football. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so that's pretty much what happens when you run the code, and it does do a little bit of slipping. As you can see, the, the circle isn't perfect. And then actually, it's coded so that if I hit the button on the bottom here, then maybe not. Oh. It actually begins erasing it. So we coded it to erase and you hit the bottom left button. All right, and that is pretty much the rundown on the slam bot. So um, remember, you're gonna want to navigate to the the bitly dot slam or slash slam bot, which is uh, cap sensitive, and uh, upload your slam code so we can use them on our slam bot. And that is pretty much all I have. Thank you. Thank you for that presentation, Cole. And remember, Slammers, if you find this presentation difficult to follow, you can always access the recordings at www.mlti to play, pause, and rewind. Checking in with Kyle, do we have any questions from the chat? All right. Um, how do you get the Slam bot to make noise, Cole? I'm going to send it back over to you now. All right. I'm going to present my screen again. All right. So if we go into our old project here, there is, you have all your events and stuff down here. Um, so when you can do when anything is touched, when program started, and then you just want to add in the, um, the sound command. Just find it real quick. All right, say hello. Here it is. Found it. And you can change what it what it says. If you just double click on that, say hello. I want to say hello. Slammers. And that is pretty much how you get it to say stuff. Slammers, you got to get ready to click the link in the chat to take the slam exam. It's a one question quiz about today's show topic. And you're going to have until the next episode to answer the question and be answered in the prize drawn. Only your first entry will count and all of the others will be removed. And then we'll announce the next winner in the, uh, we'll announce the winner in the next episode. That way everyone has a chance to take the slam exam, even if you're not able to join us live. I will give a code for you to type in, and so everyone has the same amount of time. The slam exam question from last episode was, in a video recording, what do you call it when you remove from one color from the background? A color mix, green screen, or magic? And the winner is EJ from Moranicook. Congratulations. And the slam team will reach out to you to get that prize to you. Be sure to check your email. Now, before we ask this week's slam exam question, let's check out this week's slam demo. So Jared is going to teach us about Hi 
Hi there, I'm Jared, and today I'm going to be teaching you about Etch-a-Sketch, which of course I'm assuming you've probably most likely heard of the Etch-a-Sketch, the classic toy from back in the day. And this website here is kind of like a digital version of that. You can create these different designs and you may be thinking like, oh, well, there's tons of drawing websites and apps out there. What makes this one so special? Well, this one specifically, you can make symmetrical designs and patterns, which I mean, I would use this to make something like a, like a wallpaper a tapestry because you can make some really interesting creative designs with this website. So anyway, of course, go to Google, search up Escher Sketch, and it should be the first thing to pop up. It may pop up first in help mode. So just X out of that at the top of your screen. Um, there's also a demo video if you want to watch that. But you should get to this point. So this point, we got Escher Sketch. This is the basic um, kind of default version of the app. And like I said, you can draw a bunch of designs. So of course, you can mess around with the color, the darkness, the brightness, all that stuff. So I'm going to go for nice green here. I like that. Um, but this right here is kind of going to be your main hub of tools. Now, the cool thing about this, like I said, it's symmetrical designs. So Right here, you can do no symmetry. So that would be just drawing like this uh, using the pencil tool right there. Or, of course, click the X to get rid of that. Or you can go for rosette, which is when you really get into symmetry, where then it starts doing this. So you start drawing in one place, and then it will recreate that same design in another spot. So you can see we get some pretty creative designs. I don't even know what that looks like, kind of like a flower. You got some butterflies in there. Um, really majestic drawings here. Um, but what I really want to do is if you scroll down here, you have a whole bunch of options. This is this is a website that you know you can't really follow just like these set directions, step by step instructions or anything. You kind of just have to get in here, play around with it, and have fun and see what you can come up with. So, like I said, there's a whole bunch of different designs in here. They all do different um different have different effects on your design um i like using p6m because that just makes some really uh beautiful designs and then back up here to your drawing tools i'm going to stick to the pencil for now just because that um is kind of the default uh design tool so you just start drawing here and as you can see here this is where the pm6 really comes into play so you got some really interesting stuff going on and then we'll switch it up go to a different color go for nice blue um, and then let's go for, let's use this one because this will create the stars. So we'll go back to green for this just to get some uh, variation in our colors here. So then you just start drawing some stars and you can see that you can go super in depth and big with it. Or you can bring it back down so that it is smaller. And let's try some circles, get some red going. So that looks pretty dang cool right there. Um, let's see if we can use this tool. Uh, go back for some more green because it didn't really come out on those stars. And this that you can see right there. Let's also create the uh, width, make that a little darker. So you can see really how, how much thicker those designs became after doing that. Um, so you can really play around with this. Again, there's a lot of fun. Uh, you know, you click this, that will delete your design. Uh, you can do undo, um, redo, all that stuff. Of course, if you need help, quick, click the question mark, check X. You know, that's pretty self-explanatory. So yeah, Escher Sketch, it's definitely a lot of fun. You can kind of just play around with it. Um, so many different designs and um wallpapers and like I said different uh, drawings that you can create here it's just a whole lot of fun so you can see I have my masterpiece right here so what do you do with it after that well you can export it so you can of course share um, so you would click share right there and you can share with a direct link or you can also upload it to Facebook Twitter or Pinterest to share with your friends um, and you can also uh, order wrapping paper with your design which would probably be fairly expensive, but I mean, definitely a cool option as well. So yeah, guys, Escher Sketch, again, full cool design uh, tool to use um, if you're making wallpapers, tapestries, that type of thing. Um, I really have had a lot of fun with it, and I hope you guys uh, decide to check it out as well for yourself. <music>
or if you're not watching this live, visit mlti.me and click the SLAM exam link at the top to enter your answer. You can only enter once anytime before next week's show. The passcode for this episode is 207. I'm going to say it again. 207. The SLAM exam question is, which code tag is used to have an action completed multiple times? Remake, rewind, or repeat? All right. We will announce the winner randomly selected from all correct answers next episode. Good luck. Um, and a quick programming note, the SLAM team will be on the road. So we are going to be offering in-person SLAM showcases all over the state of Maine. And if you would like to see us in person, join us October 14th in Augusta at the ACTEM conference. We hope to see you there. Thank you, everyone, for, for joining today's SLAM, uh, NLTI SLAM show. Thank you to our presenter, Cole Buber, our moderator, Kyle, and our director, Bree. Slammers, if you have any questions, would like to make comments or share the work you created today on the show, visit www.mlti.me and contact us. Those of you in the live stream right now, um, stick around for an after show live discussion. Student leadership ambassadors, stay curious and we'll see you next time. The MLTI Slam Show is a program of the Maine Department of Education. For more information about this and other innovative educational initiatives, please visit www.maine.gov slash DOE.